All right, guys, let's get straight into this one. This We're going to do 20 pound first. I think I make about four casts with 20 pound. And the, the distance, or excuse me, the depth is always right around that 15 to 16 foot mark. This is a dredger 25.5. Um, in order to get that good deep dive in these deep diving crankbaits, and here comes one right there coming in about 15, 15 and a half foot, you have to make those super, super long casts and it gives the bait time to get down to the proper depth. One thing that I noticed with the 20 pound line, just because of, you know, naturally it, you can't cast as far as you can with say the 12 pound line. Now that didn't, um, it didn't matter as much on some of the other baits, but it really, really mattered on this particular test more than others. As you can see, here comes another one in, getting to about that 15 uh, foot depth. And like I said, I make four casts. But you're gonna see when I get to that 12 pound, uh, it not only gets you know down to the 19 to 20, even 22 foot deep. We're talking about six and seven foot. So a combination of making that longer cast also, the less drag on the line is huge, especially in the deep, deep. So if you're throwing a 10XD, that one, I kind of missed the cone a little bit. Uh, it was a little bit windy that day, but I'm going to make one more cast with the 20. But as I was saying, the uh, that the line drag with the being able to make that super, super long cast uh, really showed its colors in this test. Um, I think I'm at one more cast coming in here. There it is right there, coming in about 15 foot. Maybe touches a 16 foot, but I, it's more along that 15 foot line. And and there you go. You see it coming out, you know. So now we're going to go to the 12. And you'll notice, and like I said, I'm trying to cast as long as possible, especially on this one. The other test, I tried to keep my, uh, you know, the cast very equal and and i tried to keep the cast equal on this one except for the 20 pound just doesn't get it uh the, the 20 pound just won't go as far and so you can see right here this one gets a little bit deeper uh and that that cast ended up being a little shorter than uh that was the first 12 pound cast but definitely the distance of the cast more than any any other test meant something on this one and i think it's because not you're not going to that eight or 12 foot you're going down to 22 20 22 foot of depth in here and so definitely 12 pound makes a huge difference in this test not only like i said in depth look how deep that one dove i mean it is getting down there not only in depth but also in being able to make that long cast to achieve that maximum depth uh some of the shallower crankbait tests, they're going to get to their depth, um, you know, a lot easier than this one right here. This one takes time to get down there to that depth. You can see it's still dropping when it comes into the picture right there at 50 foot. It's still diving. And then it touches almost 20 foot right there and goes back up. So it takes that super, super long cast. And you just can't get as long a cast with that 20 pound line. And uh, there's one of them right here that touches almost 22 foot. I mean, it's right at the bottom. And uh, I could imagine with 10 pound line, you maybe even make just even a tad bit longer cast and get to that 25.5 point, uh, point mark that Berkeley claims it'll go to. But most of them are right there. There comes one right there. Look at it, touching that 22 foot line. I mean, it's dra almost dragging bottom. And that's the, like I said, double the ability less drag longer cast um there's gonna be one more cast in there i think and then we're gonna wrap this test up this was an interesting test this one right here really started to show the difference and show the advantages of using the the 12 over the 20 um this one probably looked like this cast didn't get quite as deep but there it is again didn't make as long a cast but still got deeper than the the 20 pound but from now on, we're going to do a new test. We're going to take 12-pound equivalent, uh, excuse me, 12-pound braid and then 12-pound fluoro. 
That's going to be our new series of tests. And I know the braid has a smaller uh, equivalency of, you know, line equivalency, maybe like four pound test or six pound test. I don't know what there actually is, but we're going to do 12 pound fluoro and 12 pound braid. And we're going to start to see the differences in those. And then we're going to follow that up with a, fit, a 12 pound mono versus a 12 pound fluoro. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. I mean, you've been awesome.